Hello YouTube and welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum. Chu. Hi -o. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as some traditional food here. Um, normally, when we do our Chinese food, it is just takeaway food. It's not the best way. We're teaching you how a takeaway would do it. For example, we use MSG. If you don't want to use MSG, don't put it in. We're not telling you. You have to, but you don't. It's optional. Exactly. That's the word. Optional. Yeah, basically, um, just grow up and use your own brain. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> today um, we've done this on via live stream before, but we wanted to do an actual video surely because we're going to go through it step by step um, how to do everything in one go rather than going, well, if you don't know how to do this, we'll link the video below. It's all going to be in one place. Yes. Oh, in one place. Yeah. Here. So, what are we, what are we doing, Mum? Beef chow mein. Yes! <laughs> I didn't think you were going to get it. Um, yeah, beef, beef chow, chow mein. mein. Yes. <laughs> How a takeaway does it? Like I say, it's not the best way. Takeaway food is fast food. It is not, um, how should I say, fine dining. It is. Yeah. Like McDonald's and. Yeah, I mean, your it's designed... burger, five bar, whatever you call it. But one of those. KFC. No, the gourmet, gourmet, gourmet. What is that? Gourmet burger is still not really fine dining, is it? No, it's not. It's, but I mean, yeah, it, it's designed to taste good. Yeah. But, Everybody I mean, palate is different, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually very true. That. that is actually yeah. very true. So and I also, take, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. I was wrong. I'll take that back. And also, and the 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 thing in your tongue had a buds? lot. But no. Yeah, taste bad. No, the cleanliness of your tongue has got a lot to do with the taste of the food you taste. Yeah, do always. Do you realize that? Always brush your tongue. Yeah, always brush your tongue. If you, uh, you know what? Here we go. Yeah. I cannot stand people when people talk on TV, especially. There are a lot of the even those celebrity people, they should go home and brush their bloody tongue. <laughs> I feel like go ask them to brush their tongue <laughs> when they talk. And I got a clear, a, a film more white thing on the tongue your, that's no good. Yeah, your agent should have been pointing that out. Yeah, your tongue should be like this, pink, Because not most, white. most people stare at people's tongues. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, we'll get on with the beef chow mein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first step of the beef, um, this is how takeaways will do all their beef. So we're actually gonna teach you how to do quite a lot in one go. There's well over probably 800 grams there. Do you think it's more than a kilo? About a kilo, I think. All right, hold on. Yeah. Right, so we're going to teach you how to do this right from the start. Now, the takeaways will do their beef like this. We've done separate videos, but we just want it all in one place. So, here is your top side of beef. Um, you can use any cut, in, in all honesty, can't you, man? Yeah, you can use any cut. The just takeaways just use top side because it's top side. cheap. Um, but it's good quality. It's not, yeah, good it's quality a cheap, top side. A cheap, good cut. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's best to use a pointed knife. Not, not a square one, right? Because this one, if it got any of this, what do you call it? Grizzle. Yeah, you can go Sinew. put your knife into it and prick it all out. The knife has to be sharp, all right? Very sharp. Yeah, the beef, yeah. First of all, you cut this, uh, what do you call it? Parasite, not say parasite. No, no, <laughs> it's not parasite, no. It's a cut this bit away, you don't want it dangling isn't it it's not very easy to work cut it off here and you put that piece over there and you see what I mean now it's good to have the sharp edge and this one when you cook it it's not going to be tender it's going to be hard I love it this is the one that I like more than the meat you go like that cut it off most of the people will throw it away but it's nice to put it in the stew give it a flavor and the fat I love the fat a lot of people don't like it you have to cut it away it's up to you if you want the fat put it in if you don't want it cut it away but this one as well look 
Does the gristle take them away? You, you basically just want pure beef. Yeah. Because this is going to go tough. It's real you... tough, but it doesn't, it's all right. You can cook with it, but it's just tough. It's just how much you want to chew is up to you. And this bit in here, you see the section? If you just get your knife and slit it through, if it just come off, you don't have to. It's a different part of the muscles. Yeah. It's where the membranes separate each muscle. That's right. And this one is going to be hard when you cook it. And get your knife in there and. And it's best to turn it that way so you can just. As you. If you cut, you pull your meat away, it just come off from your hand. Look. You see? Really easy. Easy peasy, you call it. Right, start cutting your beef now. You want to cut across the grain. Yeah, you, you can see that line here, right? Don't cut in a straight line. If you cut in a straight line, it's not going to be tender. It's going to be really chewy. Cut a, across it, right? And slant your knife a little bit and cut your beef. The thinner the better. Yeah. Especially for quick takeaway yeah. cooking. As you slant your knife and cut your meat in a slanty way, you get a bigger piece rather than a little small tiny winny bit. Yeah, because otherwise it, you're just trying to cook with boot laces rather yeah. than like a tiny fillet. Yeah. And same as this piece, you see where the the grain is, like these, look, here, they are, look, like this, yeah? So you cut it straight down here. Sorry about the in and out of focus, brand new 4K camera. Um, just getting the grips with it. Right, you see that long grain? You need to cut it. I start with this piece, all right, easy. You see that one? And don't cut your beef this way. You're going to get really stringy beef. Cut it this way. You can see where that grain is now, yeah? And you cut this way. And when you look at it, you can see, I don't know what you call it. Can you see grain. that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at that. So you repeat this process for all of it. Yes. And we'll come back to you once it's all done. We've cut all the beef now and we put it into this bowl. What we're going to add to this to uh, marinate it is a couple of things. I don't know why I said it so weirdly. That was a weird way to say it, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so into this we're going to put vegetable oil about two a tablespoons worth don't use sesame oil because no takeaway will use sesame oil no it, don't it just doesn't go no, just a normal vegetable oil because this has to go with everything on the chinese menu yeah um and sesame oil doesn't then we're going to add a tiny bit of bicarb now bicarb is an alkali and what that does it um dissolves the covalent bonds in the meat which make it tender so you've got about a quarter teaspoon of bicarb going into there. Then you've got a dessert spoon of light soy sauce. Yeah, light soy. Here we come. Two dessert spoons of dark soy sauce. Yeah, dark soy. You've got uh, salt. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of, of uh, MSG. MSG. Don't use MSG if you don't want to. Use the soy, extra soy, uh, light soy, because it's got lots of naturally occurring MSG in. So if you don't want to use that, then by all means use light soy instead. Just mix it around, okay? You also need to put your potato starch in here, which Mum's forgot to pick up. Mix it around. Mum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then you put that in. Yeah. So what and is... It's best to use your hand, all right? Yeah. We have a perfect hand. Make use of it. This, these, we'd obviously use gloves here for cooking in our yeah. kitchen, but because um, it's for us, this is how we are doing it now. What? This will freeze very nicely. What you do is you put it into bags. Do you think sure. we should show them? Yeah, yeah okay. We'll, we'll okay. show you. Get a we'll small show you. Bag. We'll show you. You get a small bag, right? You put your hands in. That's the best way for doing that. Don't do it. Don't try to put it in here because the meat stick into it. It get in my wig. Sticks like what, mum? Uh, what well, I wouldn't say. <laughs> Even though you swore <laughs> in the last video. <laughs> right. So mix it nicely now. Can you see it's a bit, um, what do you call it, um, thick, not so thick. Sticky. Yeah. Yeah, it's sticky. 
It smells lovely. It smells gorgeous, mm. doesn't it? I used to like raw beef, you know that? It's nice. One portion is about like that. It's about yeah. what, 110 one, grams. If you, want, if you have a big appetite, you can put more. But normal portion is about like this. More than a bigger than a golf ball. More than a bigger than a golf ball. Bigger than a golf ball. About double size of a golf I'd say, ball. Isn't uh, if it? we're going to do this in ball sizes, which is an odd <laughs> thing to say, uh, I'd say tennis ball size. Well, bigger than, slightly bigger than a tennis ball. Slightly, not much. Cricket ball? Yeah, cricket yeah, ball. Yeah, about so. cricket ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah cricket. Cricket, it cricket, cricket is really much bigger, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to go with cricket ball size. Cricket one ball, portion. man size. Yeah, man size. All right. You take Can't say man in. size anymore, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> What do you call it? Woman size? No, King no, you can't say just human size. Oh, for God's sake. Get over. <laughs> right. In it goes. Because normally my hand will be clean, but today it's not. Just do it anyways. Right, so you, imagine you didn't use your hands to do yeah, this. Yeah, you use a glove. Yeah, then after you've done, done all this, on, you ma. wash your hand and you go like that. Right? And then. And then you flatten, flatten it out. Flatten it out. And when you want to use it, it's easier quick to defrost rather than a great big bowl like this, okay? And then and you then can you, stack them. Yeah, and so you flat can have it. Many portions stacked up, and then you can use them whenever you want, which yeah. is how we Easy to defrost, yeah. Done it at like home. that. In a takeaway, they would actually just put this into a massive a container and then freeze the whole lot yeah. and then use it as well. And like that. Try not to make this egg go in when you put in the freezer. Fold it flat in and downsize like this. Yeah, because That's a trick. Don't tell anybody. Shh. <laughs> All right? It'll freeze a bit, in other words. Yes, you don't, you don't get the air to dry it out. So and then the next one, you just layer it and layer it and layer. And when you want it, you just get one part out like that. You can even put it in a microwave if you want it quick on your defrost program. Yeah, but I mean that defrost within... 20, 30 minutes like that. Yeah, so. like that is easier. You, so you don't overcook your beef. Uh, the best is naturally defrost. We're going to start showing you how to put all this together. What are we doing now? Well, so we're doing the chum main. Well, we need to boil the water, yeah? Yeah. So what are we doing now, Mum? Beef chum main. No, I know we're <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, what part of it? Preparing the noodles. Right, we're preparing okay. the noodles. <laughs> Here we go. So what you need is you need a large, I was going to say a expanse, pan. but it's not an expanse. Yeah, it's a saucepan. It's a meat, uh, well, you, you can call it a large, whatever size you want, just uh, a decent size. Whoa, that was a big, that was a big flame. I don't have any eyebrows now. Not that I had any in the first place. But we're going to let this come to the boil and yeah. then we're going to put the Lucky Boat Noodles in. These are the best brand to use. Yeah. They are by far the most superior um, takeaway brand to use. You can get dragon um, noodles, you can get Don't three Don't buy lions. those. Come into our web store and buy it. Yeah. These are by far the best. The best. Um, the best. Is that like that? Thumbs up. Yeah. So we're going to use these. What's our web store, man? www.jiang. No. www. What shop? No. www.orientalist. No. www.chinandchu.workshop. No. You're so close. www.chinandchu.com. Oh, Yeah. There we go. Right, so I thought while we are going to prep the noodles, I'll just go quickly through what seasonings you will need for the main dish. Sesame oil does not um, appear here. No. I don't know. I don't know where it's come from, but everyone seems to get really angry at us that we don't put sesame oil in, and it doesn't taste like you, Chinese food. I mean, you can put sesame oil not on all of them. No, it works in some. It things. works in some. But, but it's a garnish. Some. You cannot yeah. cook with sesame oil because no. it burns. Yeah, it smells you... terrible. It tastes yeah. terrible sometimes. Yeah, and if it you just... don't know it burns, you don't know how. Yeah, to, how to if cook you don't know it, how so. to uh, get all the the the, the, the flavour together, it just just tastes foul. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Anyway, we've got one and a half dessert spoons of dark soy, one teaspoon of light soy, handful of onions, two stalks of spring onions, hundred grams of 
Bean sprout. Bean sprouts, thank you, I'm going to call them fine beans. Third teaspoon of MSG and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can substitute more soy for the MSG, but you're literally just replacing the MSG with the MSG naturally found in soy. So whatever you want to do, really. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. Optional MSG. Yeah. Nearly boiling now, so it won't take very long. Right, so the water is now fully boiling. And what are we going to do, Mum? This is a block of noodles. That is a block of noodles, yes. I know what to do with it, OK? <laughs> Just put it in the boiling water. Here we come. And we're gonna, how long are we going to put this in there for, Mum? Uh, when it starts boiling, about a couple, a few, minute, a few minutes. Yeah, so it's going to be in there for, you bring it to the boil. Yeah, and then you turn the temperature down to low and you let it sit in the hot water for about four minutes. Yeah, then you drain. Yeah. It's not ready yet. I'm just showing you. Just spread it around a little bit, yeah? The water still hasn't come to the boil. So this has literally just started to boil and we're going to turn it down to a lower heat. Like the lowest it will go. I'm going to let it sit there for about four minutes. You can probably get away with three. If you like your noodles really stodgy, take it all the way to six. We like a little bit of, not a crunch, not, I don't like al dente because al dente to me is raw, but we don't like them so they're wormy. Yeah, hard in the centre, no. No, it's just weird, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave these in here for about four minutes. Yeah. Right, so they've been in for about three minutes now. Yeah. And we're gonna turn off the heat. Yeah, I just farted. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> anyway, you guys probably didn't hear that, but I did fart. Um, yeah, we're gonna turn off the heat and drain them. Yeah. Right, so we've got a strainer and we've got the noodles. We're taking them over to the sink. God, smoky. Smokey Robinson. This is one of the most important parts. Anyone who's been a cook before or a chef, you've just got to wash all that starch off it. So it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Look, lovely noodle. How good is it? I love my noodles. Do you? Yes, do I do. Do you prefer rice or noodles? All depends. All depends on what I'm eating. I think I... As I get, I, I like noodle, I like rice, they're all got difficult choice. All depends on what we're eating. I prefer noodle, I think. Rice. Yeah. Do you? Noodle, noodle in the morning, rice in the evening. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, noodles for, noodles for breakfast. Rice for the dinner, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's all done now. Now for the next part. Well, we've shown you all the ingredients, so we're just going to put it all together and yeah. cook it. Yep. As always, I completely forgot to mention, you need about a tablespoon of oil for this. I think we don't really need to say it all the time the oil, no, it's just a basic... You no, know, you have to remember, a lot of people, Mum, have never seen our videos before, so if they... Oh, all right, sorry, so, I take that back, yeah. sorry, I take that back. You have, you have, what, we, what we like to do is make videos, well, what I like to do is make videos as if you've never seen us before, and that way it's step by step. Yeah, okay, and sorry, I take it back, guys. Let the pan heat up. Right, so the pan is hot enough. We've got some of our beef and we're going to take roughly about 110, 120 grams of beef for one portion. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to double it, you can. The most important thing is to remember when you put it in the pan, you move it very slightly and then you don't move it at all. Yeah, don't be frightened. Let's go the, that it's hot enough to put your beef in, all right? Don't get frantic. A lot of people just put it in there, go shake it, shake it, shake it about. Do not disturb, it's there. You just spread it all out, just let it seal itself. And then when it's sat for about 20, 30 seconds, that's when you can move it again. Yep. You can see how it looks like now, caramelized. And it's sealed. Now it's been sealed, both top and bottom, you can start moving it about. At this stage, you can just break them all up. See how lovely is it? That's how I like my beef and that's it. Singe it and lift it up. Yeah? Yeah, and now the next stage is the onions. And the spring onions, if you want to add them, we've just got them in this, just in case. The spring onion always give a flavor to it. Yeah. Lots of takeaways. 
won't use them, will they? But yeah, we like it. Yeah. Because we did the recipe before where it didn't have spring onions, we thought we'd do it with them. Well, you can start smelling the onion. Time to add your MSG and salt. Salt first or MSG? Which is, this one is a yeah, it's MSG. MSG, yeah? In there? Yeah. Again, you don't have to add it. A third teaspoon is more than enough. But it's actually quite a small amount. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir it up. And then in go your noodles. Yeah, here we come, the noodles. And you want to move these as little as possible because what you're trying to do is get that char onto the noodle. If you want an electric cooker, it's going to take twice as long, but you can do it. If someone says you can't, then they don't know what they're talking about. The poor workman blades and tools. You can actually achieve very good stuff on just an electric cooker. Can you see how lovely that beef is? Right, so these have been cooking for about a minute, minute and a half, and then in about a minute, two minutes time, we're going to add the bean sprouts. Yeah, you can see your noodles is, uh, I don't know how you say it, looking uh, a bit more different, more slithery, like a snake. But slithering? Yeah. Do you know what slithering like, is? No, I don't know. Like that, you know when you put a blob of snake together, they went mm, like that. Yeah, no, no, yeah, most, yeah. Most of us do know what uh, putting a blob of snakes together looks like. But if you're not familiar with a uh, blob of snakes, <laughs> <laughs> you can just imagine it. A bit like it's just basically like spaghetti, right? Yes. Now the bean sprouts are ready to go. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. No, sorry, I spoke too soon. We want to season it with the dark and light soy first. So in goes your light soy. And the dark soy. We like our noodles dark. Yes. The darker the better. Way better, yeah. A lot more soy flavour, by far the best. Look at that. Oh my god. Traditional noodles yeah. are dark, heavy and dark soy. And then you add your bean sprouts. You can see what I mean now, it's like slithery, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean now. Bean sprouts. The trick is you add your dark soy before the bean sprouts, that way they stay nice and vibrant and white. Yeah, that's right, white. Yeah, Here look is the noodles and... Yeah. Look at that bean sprout. Oh my goodness, it's so white and crisp. So this is now ready. We're going to put some chilies on this, yeah? Right, do a bit of toasting. Toasting, is it toasting or toast? Tossing. Tossing, all right. <laughs> Got it all wrong. Oh, look at that. How amazing it looks. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? Super duper. And a bit of Chilis. never miss. Oh, my fresh cut chili. I love it. So here we are at the end of the chow mein. I hope you really enjoyed it from start to finish rather than just um, bit and pieces. bits and pieces where we've gone. Link this video. I think we're going to do this format a little bit more often because it just seems like it'd be more helpful yeah. to you. Yeah, right. We're thinking about you. Thinking yeah. about you. Yeah. The, uh... I'll hold it if you want. No, it's all right. I, think. I am looking forward to this. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You don't want it dropped on the floor. There you are. I've got a tiptoe, so I'm the same height. Oh, it's billion. Not billion. Brilliant. The beef is look nice. The beef looks very nice. Let's mm. try the noodles. That's it. Very good. You know, people are always think that, oh yeah, do you think they really enjoy the food? Yes, we do enjoy the food. Mum is angry today. This is. Mm. It's lovely, especially with the chili. Someone the other day said our noodles are too dark. Is it? Oh wait, because had, they don't like to put too much soy in because it has too much soy flavour. Don't add soy then, you idiots! <laughs> if you don't like too much dark noodle, don't put that much soy on. Simple. Cooking is completely up to you. Yeah. We're not telling you this is the right way. We're just saying this is how a takeaway does it. Even our way isn't the right way. Whatever is good for you is good for you. And I think that's lost a lot of the time in cooking, yeah. isn't it? Stop being so angry. Calm down. Yeah. Oh, I really enjoyed this one. Yeah, me too. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, 
become a patron. You do not have to become a patron. It's just there in case you want to um, support us. We have a book um, where this recipe is in mm -hmm. that is available for pre-order. If you're watching this in the future, hello, future people. Yeah, um, it's lovely. It's probably out by then, but if not, it's available for pre-order at the moment on www.chinandchew.com forward slash shop. Um, that's about mm. it, isn't it? Lovely. We're going to be doing more traditional videos very soon. Chicken feet is a big one that's been asked for oh, by our Oh yeah, patrons. I love it. Chicken feet, here we come next time. Happy cooking, happy eating. Well done. Just so you know, I can't stand chicken feet and it might be worth you guys tuning in to watch that to see my reaction when I've eaten. I haven't eat, had tried them for at least 10 oh, years because they yeah. make me feel sick. Oh, I love it. How perfect this noodle is. Thanks. Someone can cook noodle will be like this. Someone who cannot cook noodles will be small little pieces. You want your noodles like this. One whole piece. I don't know what mum means by that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Love you all. And what are we on? 55,000 subscribers now. Insane. Well done. Thank you.